Steve Andres with Colts long snapper Matt Overton. A little football 101 today. One of the best in the business is going to show you how you actually long snap a football. When I teach like young guys how to snap, I mean just real basic stuff. I mean the grip is the critical part. Um, that's step one. And I really, I, I grip the football just like I'm going to throw it overhand. And so I just, it's all preference, it's all feel. Some guys have bigger hands, smaller hands. So as long as you have a good firm grip on the ball and that's the way you throw it, I just teach young guys just uh, that's going to be your grip. Your overhand grip is your, your main grip for a long snap. All right, after you got your grip down, the next thing is just kind of your base stance. You know, just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Just get comfortable, elbows to your knees, and just kind of sit down. A lot of the pressure is applied right here, mainly on your throwing hand. That's your dominant hand. And the guide hand, just, it's, it's almost just, just lays flat on the ball. You get a little grip. There's not a lot of pressure put on it. And that guide hand just helps you get that nice spiral when you snap it back to the punter. Will you spin it with both your hands or just your dominant right hand? I mean, I'm gonna say it's more like 70-30. Mm -hmm. So 70% of the, the, the action gets comes off my right hand. I'm gonna get behind you here, take a couple snaps. Let's start with the field goal. How far back am All I right. going for a field goal? Well, field goal is eight yards. Um, so if this is the line of scrimmage at the 10 yard line, I'll go back. Yeah, go back to the well, three yard line. Well, we're kind of turned around, but. Go back to the two yard line. For the holder, I'll have you get down, put your right knee down, left knee up. And it'll be right at eight yards. Right, you so down. Yeah, there you go. All right, then I'm just going to go. Gonna you're like you're, you're going to give me a set call, and I'm just going to fire it back. And okay. It comes pretty fast. All right. So get my head out of the way. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> catch it with your nose, for sure. So I'm going to go on you, man. You just give me a set hike. I'm going to go on your hand, and I'm going to snap it. All right. Set. Hike. <laughs> what do I do with this hand? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what holding's like, but I think when you catch it, you're, you, you actually hold it with your left hand. And this is like when Pat catches the ball, if he has to spin the ball at all, he can catch it. He can feel where the laces are at, and he uses the right hand to spin the ball for Vinatieri. And then he has a uh, – Vinny has a specific lean that he likes um, for each kick. So when Pat catches it, hopefully he catches it with the laces out, and he just places it down, gives Vinatieri the lean that he, he likes – Bada bing, bada boom. The punt snap, there's a lot more aspect to it. There's a lot more responsibilities as far as blocking assignments and then coverage. Um, so the snap is a little bit different because now I gotta get back and block somebody, you know? So yeah. it's all about speed and fast hands and, and getting depth in my, uh, in my stance after I snap. I'm gonna zone in on Pat. Pretty good. <laughs> Then he bombs it. Do a little competition. For sure. Try not to beat me. Then I'm gonna run much. down. Then I have to run down and try to smack somebody and make a tackle. It's a lot of fun. Fourth down army, not Pat just about snapping it. the ball. That hits it far too, so we're yeah, you're running a I'm, while. I'm winded, man. I'm winded when we're done. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So let's go through. The, you know, let's go with the grip. Grip first. In your stance, guide hands. So you want that ball a little yeah, bit. Right. Yeah, extend out there. I'm going to put this hand just a little bit lower on the ball. Not a lot of pressure on this on the, okay. the left hand, okay? Okay. All right, fully extend it out. I want you to look at your target. And fire it back. You did a look, no look snap. Oh, you look? Oh, I look all the time, yeah. Oh. That's better. Let's one try it one more time. One more. Now you can show now me we got little elements, going. man. We got some... Oh, we got a little wet, wet ball, ball, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, you got to work on that grip, dude. Now, if you if you guys think it's going to rain, Coach will dunk this in a, in oh, a we tub do, of yeah. water, we, right? It's called the wet ball drill, and yeah. it's like literally a gallon of water poured, poured on top of it and just soak it. The ball right. gets heavy, slick. Last chance. You got this. Focus in on the L. Oh, boy. You almost hit the goal post. That, that was almost the crossbar. That was almost an extra point. I don't think I have a future. Okay, Matt, let's see how good you are. We got a GoPro here. All right, man. Put it right on top of the goalposts. That's a small Take target, a man. Two inches by two inches. Let's see if he can get it. All right, let me try here. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> I was actually going for that. I hope I didn't break it. Did I break the camera? Nailed it. 